I want to thank Thank you for big putting fan. together this incredible big, big fan. Let me start by stating right up front that if I'm elected president, the Indian and Hindu community will have a true friend in the White House that I can guarantee you that I can tell you. I'm involved in two massive developments in India, you probably know. Very successful, wonderful, wonderful partners, very beautiful and I must say, I became involved because I have great confidence, and I have great confidence in India. Incredible people and an incredible country. So thank you very much. I was there 19 months ago and look forward to going back many, many times. Generations of Indian and Hindu Americans have strengthened our country and strengthen it like few people could ever even believe. Your values of hard work, education, and enterprise have truly enriched our nation, and we will be celebrating a Trump administration together. That I can tell you. <laughs> Indian Americans have the highest rate of entrepreneurship and college graduation in our country. A Trump administration, that's pretty impressive, by the way. You don't, you don't hear that often, I will tell you. A Trump administration will massively lower taxes for our small businesses, eliminating job-killing regulations, and we will repeal and replace job-killing Obamacare, which is a disaster. But as we all know, we can't have prosperity without security. And that is why we appreciate the great friend India has been to the United States in the fight against radical Islamic terrorism, a word that our president doesn't even use. It's a word our president refuses to use. Hillary Clinton, as I call her, crooked Hillary, does not use that term. India has seen firsthand the brutality of terrorism and cross-border violence including the attacks in Mumbai and, I mean, look, Mumbai is a place that I love. It's a place that I understand. So for all of the people in Mumbai, the attack on Indian parliament, absolutely outrageous and terrible. We will defeat radical Islamic terrorism. When I'm president, we will stand shoulder to shoulder with India in sharing intelligence and keeping our people safe, mutually. This is so important in the age of ISIS, the barbaric threat Hillary Clinton has unleashed onto the entire world. India is key and a key strategic ally, and we don't want to even talk about it because there's nothing like the relationship that we will have. I look forward to deepening the diplomatic and military cooperation that is the shared interest of both countries. India is the world's largest, it's the world's largest democracy, a, an amazing statement, and is a natural ally of the United States. Under a Trump administration, we are going to become even better friends. In fact, I'll take the word even out because we are going to be best friends. There won't be any relationship more important to us. And I love when I see this over here because they're busting through the gates. They love us. We love you. There's a lot of love in this room. There's a lot of love. I look forward to working with Prime Minister Modi, who has been very energetic in reforming India's bureaucracy. Great man. I applaud him for doing so, and I look forward to doing some serious bureaucratic trimming right here in the United States. Believe me, we need it also. Americans have been asking for years, for decades, to trim the waste in government. The politicians can't do it, but I promise you this, I will do it. The wasting of taxpayer dollars will finally, in the United States, come to an end. We're going to fix these bloated and corrupt bureaucracies. Hillary doesn't have the energy. She's right now resting. She's resting, waiting for the debate on Wednesday night. Did everybody see the last debate? 
That was an easy one. That was very easy. So, your great prime minister has been a pro-growth leader for India. He simplified the tax code and cut taxes, and their economy has grown 7% a year. Excellent. Our economy is practically not growing at all in the United States. Just about zero. And with a very, very bad jobs report just this last Friday. We'll take care of that. But when I'm elected, we're going to start growing again and growing very, very fast. My reforms on taxes, trade, regulation, and energy will add at least 25 million new jobs in the next decade. We will make America the greatest place in the world to invest, hire, grow, and to create new jobs, new technologies, and entire new industries. First, we will cut taxes for all working and middle-class households in America. We're going to go to seven, and you know what we had? We had seven brackets. We're going to bring it down to three brackets with low-income Americans paying no income tax at all. There will be a... Really rich. I'll show you that in a second. I have so many websites. I have them all over the place. I hire people. They do a website. It costs me $3. When was the last time you saw the greatest jobs president that God ever created? All talk, no action. Under President Trump, Here's what would happen. Iran is going to take over the Middle East. A $2.5 billion website in Mexico. I buy it. I buy it. You would say maybe two? Maybe four? I have lobbyists that can produce anything for me. They're great. Our country needs a $5 billion cheerleader website. I love drugs crime, rapists, they're great, all over the place. And it only makes common sense. It only makes common sense. I speak to border guards. They become rich. I'm in competition with them. They just built a hotel in Syria. Can you believe this? Now, thanks to fracking and other things, we now have a gun on every table. We're ready to start shooting. I own a big chunk of the lobbyists, the donors, and the special interests, fully. Biggest bank in the world, you know where their United States headquarters is located? In this building, in Trump Tower. The American dream is dead, and we have nothing. Thank you, thank you very much. Make America strong again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you very much.